My name is Corporal Andrew Tracy and today we're going to be doing a packing demo of the CT1 static line parachute which is used by light infantry battalions across Canada for mass insertions. My packer today is going to be Corporal Mark Dumain. The packer is going to begin by doing an inspection of all the components of the parachute. He's going to complete a four line check on the parachute by tracing the top gore of the parachute down to the suspension lines and then the suspension lines down to your risers. He's going to check the screws so the suspension lines are connected securely. He's now going to check that the bottom lines of the parachute are clear. The rigger is now going to confirm that the four line check is in fact good. Go ahead and give the packer the go ahead to go to the next stage. He's now going to square off the apex of the canopy, ensuring that he gets equal tension in all suspension lines when tension is pulled on the canopy. A gore fold is completed by folding all the material of the parachute to the outside while leaving the lines to the inside. While he's gore folding the canopy, he is also inspecting every gore for holes. Once the gore folds are complete, he uses the line separator to separate the two line groups, then places the canopy on the table and ensures that an equal amount of gores are on each side. He's now going to do a long fold on the canopy by creating a 45 degree fold at the base of the canopy. The long fold is then going to continue all the way up the canopy to the top. He's then going to tie his deployment bag to the apex of his canopy using a brake cord tie. This is your last point of contact between you and the aircraft before you break away. The rigger is going to ensure that his long fold is done correctly and that his brake cord is also tied correctly. Go ahead. He then gives the packer the go ahead and he can proceed to put the parachute into the deployment bag. He's now going to lock the bag closed using the closing loops on the deployment bag and the suspension lines of the parachute. He's then going to continue stowing his suspension lines in an S-fold pattern from the bottom of the bag to the top. While he's completing this sequence, the rigger is going to inspect then connect the harness to the parachute. Once the suspension line stows are complete, the packer will then tie the connector links to the deployment bag using quarter inch cotton webbing. Rigger. The rigger will now come for the third inspection. The suspension line stow closing flap will now be closed. Go ahead. The packer will now place the deployment bag on the pack tray by S folding the risers underneath the deployment bag. He's then going to feed a strand of quarter inch cotton webbing through the closing loops on all four closing flaps, as well as a pack opening loop on the static line. He's now going to dress off all the closing flaps, making the parachute look neat and tidy in order to instill confidence in any jumper that is going to be putting this parachute on their back. Once the parachute has been dressed off, he's going to stow the static line in a controlled S-fold manner from bottom to top. He's then going to feed the excess of the static line underneath the stowed portion of the static line and stow the snap fastener on the pack opening loop in order for transport. This pack job is now complete and the last step is for him to sign the CF1310 logbook which has the name of the packer and the inspecting rigor of every parachute that leaves this building.